Hey everyone, this is Christian and welcome back to another tutorial with me. Uh, today we will be making a metallic button. Um, it's quite simple to do actually, so I <laughs> very often say that, but this is very easy to do. And you can have some sort of uh, plus or minus or whatever you want on your button. Um, that's up to you. Uh, let's start off by making a new document, command N. And just call it button. Uh, I chose 600 by 600 with 300 in resolution. Uh, the 300 part is if you want to print this button, uh, have it in a magazine or whatever, uh, you should have 300 uh, for that. That's for printing. Uh, if you choose 72 uh, in resolution, that's for web. So if you know that you only want to use this for the web, uh, you can choose 72. Okay, um, now we, that we have our new document, I want to find the center of the document, so I'm uh, pressing Command R to get the ruler, and if you go to View, uh, go down to Snap, and have this checked on. Uh, so when you drag a line from the ruler and down, you will notice that the line will snap into the place. So if you move a little, it won't move uh, with you. That's because it's the center. Uh, and now take the side, do the same thing, it will snap like that. So this is the center of the document, uh, very easy. And now choose the rectangle no, elliptical marquee tool, uh, press M. Uh, and a quick tip, if you have uh, for example, the rectangular marquee tool chosen, and you know that the uh, elliptical is behind it, you can press shift while pressing M, and it will choose uh, between these, uh, which is underneath on the same button. So you can choose between them by holding shift and pressing M. So now you know that as well, and it works on these as well. Okay, go to the middle of the uh, crosshair, hold press down and hold Alt and Shift and you will notice that it's dragging the circle from the uh, point where you started. Uh, the Alt button is keeping it uh, to the center and the Shift button is keeping the proportions. So that's really handy. Make a new layer, Command, Shift and N. Uh, just call it background or something and I want to fill in this with a dark gray color like this so when you have the dark gray on the background uh, color you can just press command backspace if you have it on the front uh, foreground layer you can just press alt and backspace now I will add some noise to this circle go to filter go down to noise add noise and choose quite a bit like so press OK and go up to filter again go down to blur radial blur and choose spin uh, best or good and choose yeah 75 was pretty good I guess like so press OK and you can now see the circle uh, circles <laughs> which is in the metallic button and uh, now we will be you can do, take away the uh, selection by the way command D is for deselect now we will be adding a gradient to this button here so double click on the background layer which you just created uh, go down to gradient overlay uh, choose style angle click on the gradient here because uh, you don't want this black to white and this doesn't look good so choose the first color here just click on this color button thing and go down here and choose a color I choose A9, A9, A9 and I'm going to make the last color there A9 as well so you don't have the same color up here and now we will be adding some colors in the middle here. Um, start here, just B, 
pick a lighter color like so so you can see it's getting different and make another one a little darker like so another one a bit lighter again and another one which is something like this and choose a light one like so and now you can see it's got some different colors which we want but we can't see the circles uh, which is on the layer so turn down the opacity a bit and you will see the circles popping out uh, 82 seems fine press OK and there you go really simple if you want to add something uh, like uh, plus or minus or anything like that just make a new layer command shift N go press U and press the what's it called custom shape tool and just choose something here uh, I'll choose the plus sign and you can use the cross that we used earlier to get the center of the button hold shift and alt and drag out like so and I have some styles on it or effects I have some outer glow and bubble and embus uh, the outer glow is the blue and the bubble and embus is the white and black shades on here so yeah there we go um, one thing I found out um, I want to point out is that the um, edge of this circle isn't very good so I um, used the elliptical marquee tool went in the middle here again um, like so press alt and shift and drag out and I just deleted the sum of the uh, edge here to get it absolutely straight because of this because of the noise and blur we used the noise is a little off it's not completely round so choose the background layer uh, when you have marquee tool chosen uh, out like this press uh, alt and shift and i no that's command shift and i and you will get the outer selection instead of the inner and then you can just mark the background layer press backspace and delete the outer press command d to deselect and now you can see it's absolutely straight all the way around so if you want to you can add a stroke uh, like so just down here choose one press ok you don't want it to be too thick or that's up to you but <laughs> it doesn't look very good if it's too thick in my opinion yeah anyway this is the tutorial and I hope you enjoyed if you liked it please subscribe and like and all that good stuff and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.